So I'm here with the San Diego legend, the one and only Shane from Hodads, the son of the late great boss man. Now, Shane, where are we in San Diego? Hillcrest. A lot of bars, restaurants, a lot going on here. We're about two miles away from Gaslam. OK, good, because I thought I was lost for a second. I'm trying to take you to New Orleans. Well, at least to a place that's serving up real deal New Orleans food. I hear there's a chef drove all the way out here, and he's doing it right. Let's check it out. This is Nola on 5th. Let's go. We got a full house out there. I would gobble up the whole menu any day of the week. Catfish going down. Party, home cooking, with a little bit of spice. The shrimp and grits here. Feels like New Orleans came to San Diego. Which actually happened by way of Andrew Boyer, a cook from the Big Easy who came here 27 years ago to help a friend open some breweries. I was just going to stay for a summer. Nobody comes to San Diego for the summer because it's an endless summer. That is a true statement for sure. Right? Yeah. I love New Orleans, love Cajun and Creole. The highlights on the menu here? Gumbo, etouffee, jambalaya. Nola jambalaya is my absolute favorite. I love the chicken. I'm a big fan of the andouille sausage they use here. So we're going to start off with homemade seasoning. We put this on everything. Brown sugar. I have never seen that much brown sugar. Who taught you how to cook all this? My buddy Dave Perdome. Dave Perdome. I wish it was Paul Perdome's son, but it's oh not. Oh my he gosh, just I just, my heart <laughs> fluttered. Garlic powder, cracked black pepper, onion powder, cayenne pepper, kosher salt, oregano, a little basil, dry parsley, thyme. We're looking pretty good. We're going to roast our boneless, skinless thigh meat. Take some Cajun seasoning, put it into our combi oven for about seven minutes on a high steam. Use some of the fat and the juice out That's of it. That's correct. Now we're going to make the stock. Any great jambalaya has got to come from a real stock. You can tell the difference immediately. Night and day. Roasted chicken bones, mirepoix with a little garlic water. Let it cook for hours. OK, chef, fire up that pot. We're going to put a little oil in there first to get started. What kind of oil? That's oh. a little extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> Uh, Trinity, tomato paste. Let this cook down for about five minutes. Chicken stock, a little hot sauce. Woo! Crab ball seasoning, garlic, Cajun seasoning, liquid crab oil. So this is what really spices it up. And then a little parsley. Cook this down for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we'll put in roasted chicken thigh. Andouille sausage brought in from Louisiana. Now, what makes andouille andouille? Uh, and do we want to know or what? <laughs> that's the seasoning blend that's made with it. We'll add our rice, the extra long grain. It cooks perfect every time. 60% of the time, it works every time. Get it boiling and then put it at a low temperature, 25 minutes. And this will get a cover, you said? Do not ever take jambalaya uncovered. It's going to burn the bottom, and every time you'll get that flavor and smell of the burn. Take it off the heat and let it sit 10 to 15 minutes. Let it bloom, let it dry a little bit. New Orleans jambalaya. That one's for me. I don't think you can eat all that. Green onions on there, give it a little color. Some Leidenheimer's bread. Hey, you got the perfect bite. A really flavorful jambalaya. That is the best I've ever had. It's mellow heat. This long grain rice, nice and toothsome. Mm. Great rendering of the sausage. Love the chicken thigh. You get the uniqueness of having the chicken seasoned by itself, the sausage having its own flavoring, and then the rice having its own base. You get little different bites each time you take a bite. But it's delicious. Mm. Look at the sausage jambalaya. The sausage and the chicken really make the dish come alive. I am from 45 minutes south of New Orleans. How close is that to jambalaya you remember having as a kid? Spot on. Like, no question. Grandma made it. 